Fallout 4 has a very nice DLC called Automatron, which allows you to build your own robot followers. At level 15, you'll get a quest which will provide you with the ability to construct a robot workbench in your settlements. With this workbench, you can construct new robots and also modify existing robots. You're able to build all of the main Fallout 4 robot types, Mr. Handys, Protectrons, Assaultrons, Robobrains and Sentries. You can also mix and match the robots as you like to create interesting new hybrid robots. The customization options for all of the robots is also immense and your skills have an impact on what kinds of armor and weaponry you can equip your robots with. You can also choose your robot's paint scheme, its voice and also its name. I'm pleased to say that all the robot types have their own set of strengths and weaknesses and no single robot type is better than the others. I'll begin by discussing Protectrons. Protectrons are humanoid robots that are often found doing any kind of job in the Fallout universe. They're used for firefighting, policing, construction and military. They're versatile, tough and human sized. They can fit anywhere and aren't obstructive in tight places. They're also very brave in battle and they advance slowly but with great determination. They're also very safe and stable robots. When they're critically injured they do not explode and they'll continue fighting even after their legs have been blown off or they're missing limbs. They also have good carrying capacity. Their main disadvantage is their slow walking speed which makes them bad melee combatants. They walk too slowly to close the distance of the enemy. It's best to give them ranged weapons. Mr. Handys are the only type of robot that I haven't made much use of. They're very fast, but they can't carry very much, and they're also more fragile than a Protectron. I experimented with a Protectron that had Mr. Handy thrusters as legs, and it was quite a good robot. But something crazy happened with him, and I wish I was recording this, but unfortunately I wasn't. What happened was, is I was crossing a bridge with lots of cars parked on it, but also landmines. Then I came under fire from super mutants, and somehow one of the landmines went off, which in turn set all the cars off, and all of my robots got blown to smithereens, and I was left with about 5% health from all the exploding cars. The Mr. Handy robot went into some kind of self-destruct mode, and started glowing and beeping and spinning out of control. I knew he was going to explode, so I was running away from him, but of course he was following me because he was set to follow me. And then he blew up like a mini nuke. I somehow survived this and after he came to, he was never quite the same again and refused to attack enemies from that point onwards. He had become some kind of passive damage sponge. So I took him back to the robo machine and I gave him Protectron legs and this unbugged him and he was good again. I'm not sure if all Mr. Handys would do this or if it was because it was a hybrid or if I just had bad luck. But watch out, because these things can explode and damn near kill you, and then be bugged afterwards. I think the out of control spinning robot was really funny and cool though. The only problem with it was is the bug state it left the robot in. This is the only bug I have encountered in the DLC. I didn't bother making any more Mr. Handy style robots after this, because they're not really my favourite kind of robot anyway. Assaultrons are very agile and athletic humanoid robots, of all the robot types, the Assaultron is best for close quarters combat. They're able to close the distance very quickly, and they're also able to sidestep and dodge things like missiles, and once they reach the enemy they fight relentlessly and with great skill. They also perform pretty well with ranged weapons, in which case they behave a bit more like a human soldier might. They have less carrying capacity than a Protectron though. Robo brains are robots that use a biological human brain as a processor. This might make them cyborgs, but I'm not really sure. They're larger than Protectrons and Assaultrons, but they're also still able to fit into tight areas. Their tank-like design gives them a lot of health and carrying capacity, and also makes them quite fast. They're also capable of some kind of psychic blast. I'm not sure what effect this has on the enemy, but sometimes it will hit you by mistake and it has the effect of sending you temporarily blind. The Sentry is a huge robot and it's very strong. Of all the robots it has the most carrying capacity, health and combat potential. 
A fully upgraded sentry is basically a one robot army and it will obliterate all opposition easily. Even stuff like death claws just get destroyed. Unsurprisingly, it defeats all the other kinds of robots in terms of combat strength, but its large size makes it only useful outdoors. It's not a robot you can bring with you dungeon delving because it gets in the way and blocks you and it, it's just annoying. The upgrades in the DLC are all very good, and I like the way your skills influence what you can build. For example, science will unlock all the sci-fi stuff like laser weapons and things. But with blacksmithing you unlock savage kinds of upgrades like robot plate armor with spikes on it, and also things like maces, chainsaw attachments, flaming blades, all that kind of thing. To demonstrate the diversity of upgrades, Here's three completely different kinds of Protectron robots I built. First up we've got Fireman Bot 001. I set him up in orange factory armor and gave him an ice squirter and a battle axe hand attachment. I wanted to make him look a bit like a firefighter robot. Next we've got Psycho Bill who I outfitted with savage serrated and spiked armor that damages enemies that attack him in melee. He's outfitted with a minigun and a lightning gun. Finally, we've got the Tesla bot, who has Voltaic armor, which increases its energy weapon damage. He's packing a laser Gatling gun and a laser sniper attachment. I gave all three of these guys beep voices, which makes them unable to speak. Instead, they can only beep and click a bit like R2-D2. This is a nice option if you're sick of your robots talking your ear off all the time. Another thing you can do is give them a voice, but disable their personality. I usually enjoy the robots having a personality though, and leave it on. In contrast to these guys, I've got more Protectrons downstairs, but these guys are Protectron Robobrain hybrids. They're also voiced and have their personalities turned on, although they've all got different kinds of voices. The robots will periodically give you scrap when you talk to them. I'm really having a fantastic time in Fallout 4 with all these robots. They're fantastic and I have no complaints. It's rare that I'm able to score a 10 out of 10 for something, but I think Fallout 4 really deserves it. I hope that the next Fallout game continues this good trend, and maybe, fingers crossed, we can get something similar to this in the next Elder Scrolls game. A system like this would work very well for necromancy, or perhaps Atronarch crafting. With the help of a mod like the Unlimited Companion Framework, you can have as many robots following you as you want. All of the robots are exceedingly useful, and you can tailor them to whatever role or purpose you feel like. Even non-combat purposes if you wish. You can craft robots for your settlement that walk around doing farming all day if you want. All of the robots are permanent and have no timer, and the way you craft your robots to construct their upgrades is really good. The robots are essential followers and will wake up again once combat is over, if they get destroyed during combat. If you assign a robot to a settlement, it's no longer essential and can be killed in battles. So watch out for that. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that you have as much fun with the Automatron DLC as I've had, if you decide to buy it. I've got more videos on minions and necromancy stuff coming soon.